How do you conduct yourself when visiting an Orthodox Church? This is a very important question, because Orthodox Churches, just like the Catholic ones, are very beautiful, both from the outside and inside. Even the smaller ones have icons and golden decoration, use incenses and wax candles that make up a very pleasant smell, and the Orthodox chanting is just majestic. Big cathedrals in touristic places are even more magnificent, filled with gold, old icons, relics, and with big, well-trained choirs singing a cappella. The musical instruments are not allowed in Orthodox churches. No wonder there are usually big flows of tourists wandering about. There are, however, rules of conduct in churches that apply to anyone, but not just to worshippers. You won't be necessarily kicked out of the church if you misbehave, especially in crowded touristic places, but you can be reprimanded, especially by old ladies who are usually the most active and numerous part of the congregation. Following these rules is a sign of respect. People go to these churches to worship God, to confess their sins, and to have the most intimate spiritual experience in their life. Be considerate. First, dress properly. You don't have to wear a black tie, but you should be dressed conservatively. Depending on the strictness of the congregation, generally you don't wear shorts or anything that shows your knees and shoulders. Women are expected to wear long skirts or dresses covering their knees and shoulders, but of course, most often than not, pants and even jeans are tolerated, as long as they are modest. The important rule concerns head coverings. Men must remove their heads, and women must cover their heads. Again, in a touristic place, you can go unnoticed while violating this rule, but it is considered very inappropriate. Have some respect. You are a guest in their house. Follow this simple rule. Next, naturally, you want to take pictures or maybe even record a video. Everything around you is beautiful, mysterious and fascinating. You should always remember, however, that the icons, golden decoration and even the architecture itself is highly symbolic and sacred. Act accordingly. Do not touch anything unless you know what you're doing. Never ever use flash when taking pictures. This can be disturbing to worshippers and really damaging to old icons. Never take pictures during the service and do not make any sounds. This is a very important point. As a general rule, you don't speak in church at all, unless you are participating in a liturgy or a sacraments. However, if there is no active service, it's okay to quietly exchange brief remarks with each other or ask someone a question, for instance, in a church store. Again, be considerate of others. Do not ever disturb anyone who is either worshipping or serving there. If you come during the service, it's okay to stay, as long as you stand still and quiet, preferably in the back, if you are not a part of the congregation, of course, and may soon leave. Consider the place of women and men, because during the liturgy they often stand separately. To sum up, visitors and guests are welcome in Orthodox churches, as long as they don't disturb the church life, members of the congregation and those who serve or work there. Dress modestly, be quiet, be considerable of others, and enjoy the majesty of this ancient religion at the place of worship. Please like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I see you all next time.